This is a sauna. No, sauna. In the sauna there are benches, lauteet, that you sit on. The heart of the sauna is the stove, kiwas. Something you cannot see but feel is the heat. The sauna is the hottest place in the world where people go voluntarily. For a Finn, sauna is both a form of art and a science, and also the basis of the Finnish culture. The custom of Finnish sauna is so woven into our local culture that having access to one is considered a necessity rather than a luxury. It is estimated that there are three million saunas in Finland. In a country with a population of five and a half million people, you could say is quite a few. There are almost as many saunas as there are cars here, and most Finns consider themselves a sauna specialist. It is a fact that every person in Finland could literally go to the sauna at the same time if they wanted. The sweat lodges of the Eskimos and Indians can also be considered equivalent to a sauna although they use does not involve washing or physical purification. The sauna belongs in our daily lives, like sleep or eating. Every Finn has almost certainly been in a sauna, and this also includes toddlers. The Finns have always washed themselves once a week, while the rest of Europe used perfumes to try hiding their stink. Almost 90% of Finns take a sauna once a week, The most traditional time to take a sauna is Saturday night, the sauna päivä. Finns enjoy this tradition all year around. It doesn't matter if the lakes are frozen over. Why not simply make a hole in the ice to take a refreshing ice bath or roll in the powdery snow instead of going for a swim? Both very energizing experiences. The most important sauna days of the year are also the biggest holidays of the year. Christmas and Midsummer. Christmas sauna has longer traditions than anything else. The tradition started before Christianity. First it was winter solstice celebration, everyone stopped working, a festive dinner was made and the day was ended with a purifying sauna bath. The culmination for the sauna is Midsummer, when the sauna is decorated with birch branches. It is also the best time to make vihtas or whips. More on that in a bit. Summer solstice sauna rituals still live strong. During the midsummer sauna, you should walk backwards toward a pile of logs. The type of log your bottom hits first tells you what kind of spouse you will find. If the log is split, you will get a taken lover or a widow. If the log is whole, you will find your very own spouse. In summertime, the visit to the sauna time increases and during holidays it is even a daily habit especially in the country houses. There is no country place in Finland without a sauna, even if that is the only building on the property. It is not strange to have more than one sauna either. At Siskula we use the sauna almost daily for washing up. During its long history, the Finnish sauna has experienced an interesting change from a pit sauna to a modern electric sauna. You can find a sauna in almost every hotel, condominium and fitness center. During the Stone Age, stones were piled on the bottom of a pit and a simple pole frame was built around the pit, which was covered, for example, with birch bark or animal skins. Water was thrown on top of the heated stones and a warm water vapor created a steam that heated the hut. The pit sauna suited the mobile lifestyle of the ancestors perfectly. It was easy to set up every time the place of residence changed. Today we have a modern equivalent that works on the same principle, a tent sauna. In the Bronze Age, as farming became more common, people settled more permanently and saunas slowly began to develop towards their current form. A pile of stones laid next to the door served as the stove and this precursor to the sauna also had a bench for sitting. In this primitive sauna there was no floor, The walls of the sauna were erected directly on the ground. Tree trunks and turf were used as construction material for the roof. At the end of the Iron Age, the development of the sauna took a big leap forward. With the skill of log construction, pit saunas were given up once and for all, and the sauna stirred into small cabins. 
The smoke sauna was heated using piles of stones that functioned as a stove, which were heated for up to 10 hours. The gentle steams of a smoke sauna are also to the liking of modern sauna users, although there are significantly fewer smoke saunas than traditional wood and electric saunas nowadays. Even though the ancient smoke saunas were nice, they were not particularly fire safe. The stove blowing smoke into the sauna caused a great fire hazard. In the Middle Ages, saunas were equipped with a chimney and a bricked stove, improving considerably fire safety and comfort of use of the saunas. With these changes, smoke saunas slowly began to be forgotten and traditional wood saunas began to appear in people's yards. Efforts were made to develop stoves that consume less wood, so they evolved from single heating to continuous heating, and during the post-war shortage, large amounts of firewood could this way be saved. This type of stove was suitable for the impatient sauna-goer, as the stone warmed up in half an hour at its fastest. By 1960, electric stoves emerged as a competitor to wood-burning stoves. This was when the saunas found their way from backyards into people's homes. Alongside the electric saunas found in apartment buildings, traditional wooden saunas are also still popular. They can still be found in the yards of many Finnish summer cottages. The smoke saunas are the oldest type of saunas in Finland and nowadays normally held in the highest esteem among the Finnish. The fundamental part of Finnish saunas is a pile of hot stones that sit atop the heat source. There are different types of stoves, kiwas. All stoves have the same job, heating the stones, whether it is with help of fire or electricity or even gas. Also the types of stone used differ from each other. While you're in the sauna, you'll see bathers occasionally ladling water from the sauna bucket onto these rocks. This creates steam, or löölö, and maintains the humidity of the sauna. Wood burning and electric saunas are normally warm to 80 to 110 degrees Celsius. Smoke saunas, on the other hand, although they might feel just as warm, may only reach 60 Celsius degrees. This is because their higher humidity makes them feel hotter than they are. You can adjust the temperature of your sauna experience slightly if there are benches on multiple levels. Seek out the hottest part of the sauna by choosing the highest place to sit on, or opt for the lower benches close to the door if you prefer the lower temperatures. For a typical Finnish man, heating the sauna is a matter of honor, but historically this task used to belong to women. The lölu is generated when water is thrown on the hot stones. The water can be taken from the tap, lake, spring, well, or as we often have in Siskola, rainwater. The only water you can't use is from the sea, or the stove will rust away. You should always ask permission from your fellow sauna bather or saunoja to throw a lölu. You offer to whip or vihtoa the other saunoja. A vihta, some say vasta or in English a whip, is made from birch branches. They are picked, cut and bundled together, or you just go to a shop and buy a dried or frozen one. When you use the vihta, you first sit in the sauna for a while, so that you start sweating and the skin gets warm and soft. When the skin starts to itch and the sweat flow, it is turned for the whip. First gently whip the whole body, and then more strongly if it feels good. Birch leaves contain saponins, which act as a kind of mild soap and help gently wash away grease and dirt from the skin. Birch leaves have a wonderful scent of essential oils, which has anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects. 
With the Vita, sore muscles are also relaxed and the skin exfoliated and circulation improved. The smell of birch leaves is inevitably linked to saunas, and it is thanks to the sauna Vita. An old trick to win over your love interest is to collect all leaves stuck to your skin after sauna, dry and grind them into a powder, and add the powder to the food or drink of the object of your crush. The sauna is a place for transition rites. The tradition of a bridal sauna still lives on to this day and popular in form of stag parties. In the old days, a bridal sauna was organized at the eve of the wedding. The bride was taken to the sauna so that she could get clean, wash away her sins and get saved from evil spirits. When moving to the sauna place, the bachelor party rattles dishes, stomps on the ground and knocks on doors and walls. At the same time they shout, Paha boys, evil away. It was believed that commotion would drive away evil spirits from a marriage. The sauna is decorated with flowers, herbs, birch branches, candles or lanterns. The benches are covered with white sheets. The bride's seat can be made of rose petals, which means a rosy life for the bride. When the bride leaves the sauna and from her place, unmarried women have to be fast. The first one to sit on the bride's seat gets married next. Various magics and spells are a common practice during the bridal sauna. By singing and chanting, you ensure marital happiness and improved reproductive activity. In addition to washing and bathing, the sauna has been used for many other purposes. In the past it was used for drying grain and meats. By slowly cooking the meat in the smoke sauna at a temperature below 100 Celsius, you could preserve the meat. Up until the end of the 1930s, the sauna was widely used as a place of childbirth, as it was the most hygienic place in which to do so. The sauna was also a place where healers and seers cured the sick, and the dead were washed for their last journey to afterlife. A Finnish proverb even says, if sauna, booze and tar doesn't help, the disease is fatal. It is often said that the most important political and business decisions in Finland are made in the sauna. During sauna evenings, the presidential game has been played, government crises have been resolved and romances have been revealed. The longest serving president of Finland, Urho Kekkonen, moved with his wife Sylvi to the official presidential residence, Tamminiemi, in 1956. In the same year, perhaps Finland's most famous sauna was completed on the grounds. Here Kekkonen hosted special sauna evenings for conducting public relations with the leaders of other countries. Several internationally known leaders have sweated on Tamminiemi's sauna benches the most famous of whom is probably the leader of the Soviet Union, Nikita Khrushchev. It is known that in 1957 he enjoyed himself in the sauna until 4 in the morning. The Tamminiemi Sauna Society was a community formed by the close circle of President Kekkonen, who discussed and decided on the country's affairs in the sauna. They gathered in Tamminiemi's log sauna, where important decision makers and managers were often invited, whose opinions they tried to influence. It has been rumored that the US intelligence service CIA eavesdropped at least on Tamminiemi's official residence and probably also on conversation in the sauna in the 1970s. MI6, the United Kingdom's intelligence agency, is also believed to have listened in on the conversations. Many Finnish politicians Artists, writers and scientists also visited the sauna over the years. Although there isn't much robust evidence to back up specific health benefits, regular sauna visits are thought to improve your blood circulation and well-being. And sauna goers sleep better, with the quality and depth of sleep greatly improved. Even if the science is lacking slightly, you likely feel revitalized after your sauna experience and surely that's all the benefits you need. The Finns actually have a name for this feeling of post-sauna glow, saunan jälkeinen. It describes a deep sense of relaxation. Preserving this almost spiritual state of calm is important to Finns. So after a sauna, it's respectful not to disturb someone's saunan jälkeinen. 
Sauna's hot environment triggers the brain to produce more euphoric hormones, making us feel relaxed, happy and at peace. Going to the sauna is also an important bonding experience with your family members. It is common for everyone to wash each other's backs in the sauna. Combining sports with sauna is very typical in Finland. For example, you can't have a swimming pool without a sauna. Finnish athletes use the sauna as a means to improve basic condition and recover after training. Studies confirm that regular sauna use increases endurance, performance and helps recovery after exercise. Another benefit is also that very important team spirit, which is created in the sauna. You can also make sauna minute into a sport. Every year between 1999 to 2010, a world championship of Löylu used to be held in Heinola. The World Sauna Championships were an annual endurance contest in sauna bathing at extreme conditions. Notably, the Finnish Sauna Society strongly opposed the event. After the death of one finalist and near to death of another during the 2010 championship, the organized announced that they will not hold any more competitions. You have to be half crazy to compete in such an event and put your health at severe risk, but Finns are a bit crazy and have that famous Finnish courage or strength that we call Sisu, and of course always did very well in this competition. Speaking of Sisu, the Finnish army has always had the sauna as a secret weapon. In the Second World War, Soviet troops were being beaten by spotted fever, which is spread by lice, while in the meantime Finnish lice were exhausted by the sauna. The world's largest wood stove sauna is the sauna of the Naval Academy of the Fort Suomenlinna on an island just outside of Helsinki. It seats up to 200 baths. Normally Finns go to the sauna in the nude and there is nothing awkward about it. It is natural, although in public mixed saunas like the smoke sauna, bathing suits are required. In public saunas that are separated by gender, you go naked. When you go to the sauna with your family or friends, you are normally nude, if it's a mixed sauna and everyone is comfortable with it. Usually we have separate sauna turns for women and men among friends and family as well. When you're visiting a sauna with a Finn, just follow their lead and you will do just fine. Or you can wear a bathing suit if it makes you feel more comfortable. It is also common for Finns to punctuate their time in the sauna with refreshing dips in a pool or a nearby lake, or in the winter time rolling in the snow. If you've never been to a sauna in Finland before, then your first trip might feel a little intimidating. But don't worry, follow these simple steps and you'll soon be relaxing like a local. Shower before going into the sauna. Head to the sauna with your towel, naked or in a swimsuit, depending on the sauna recommendations. Pick a spot in a sauna to sit. Remember, higher benches will be warmer. Ladle or throw water onto the hot stones as you wish. Stay in the sauna for as long as you like. 5 to 10 minutes is good to begin with. Keep hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Take a refreshing swim or shower to cool down. And repeat. There are quite a few pagan traditions and beliefs linked with the sauna. The sauna tontu or the sauna gnome 
He said to inhabit the sauna and punish those who misbehave in it. A tonto is also someone who tirelessly prepares, heats and cares for the sauna. As a patron of the sauna, the tonto will bring good luck and success. By nature, the sauna gnome is usually described as benevolent, kind-hearted and good-natured. However, the sauna gnome also has its demanding side. Because of this, people have tried to be on good terms with their sauna elf. Because sauna tonto loves peace, you should behave in the sauna as you would in church, or in other words, avoid commotion, swearing and arguments. Although a Finn nowadays seldom goes to church, he respects the holiness of the sauna. There is no eating, drinking, urinating or farting in the sauna. You should step into the sauna in a dignified manner. When entering and leaving, remember to greet and say goodbye to the sauna gnome respectfully. If the sauna gnome is treated well, he ensures the functionality of the sauna and the well-being and safety of the sauna users, and prevents the sauna from burning. Sauna is also associated with many mythological beliefs. The spirit of the sauna is Löölö. In the ancient Finnish religion, the word Löölö signifies the spirit, the soul. It is responsible for life, breathing and warmth of the body. It was believed that in each household, the person who first made a fire to prepare a sauna would eventually become the spirit of that sauna. In the olden days, throwing lölu was considered a kind of sacrificial offering. At the end of the Second World War, there were 150 public saunas in Helsinki. They were meeting places for everybody. In the 1970s, the regular customers of public saunas were men in their 60s. They were united by similar experiences. The fact that many had been hard workers often since the age of 10. The fact that they had fought in the war where they had to go, although not always willingly. Similar life experiences were not always reflected in words, but look at the gestures of these old men. The public saunas in the cities have now, for the most part, been discontinued. Lölu is also the name of one of the most iconic and well-known public saunas in Finland, offering visitors sanctuary from the city in a former industrial area on the Helsinki waterfront. The sauna sculpture or wooden building features three wood-heated saunas, an outdoor swimming pool and a welcoming restaurant that serves Finnish classics like meatballs and creamy salmon soup. On a summer day, there's nothing better than soaking up the sun on a large outdoor terrace while enjoying a refreshing drink and stunning views of the Baltic Sea. Every sauna has its own soul, so they heat up a little differently, especially depending on the season. In Siskola we use the sauna quite often for washing up, since we don't have warm running water there. We heat the sauna stove and also the water stove separately. The hot water is then mixed with cold water to get the perfect washing temperature. Some people heat up the sauna to very hot temperatures, but I prefer a nice, steady, softer heat. It is nice to end a hard day's work with a relaxing sauna. It is also a nice way to get the boys to calm down before bedtime and makes them fall faster asleep so that mommy can have some alone time with a cold glass of cider. <laughs>